Hi guys, it's Andy here from Awesome 3D Prints again with another Awesome 3D Print, and here he is. Hey, look at that. He turned out really, really well. I'm really happy with him. I give a bit more of a full size shot. Look at that. Let's get a bit of focus on him. He's uh, he's turned out really, really well. Prints him, prints him parts and glues together, and uh, generally, I'm really impressed with that. The designer's done a cracking job of designing him. He prints nice and easily. Not very much infill needed, so that's good. And uh, a print that size it only took about. 13 hours that was on 60 millimeters a second um, with 5% infill and 0.16 millimeter layer height so pretty good again as usual I'll show you it printing and then we'll show you it being assembled and being painted and probably talk a bit more afterwards cheers guys Right then, let's start the gluing together, shall we? Too much glue to use, to be honest, I've got a couple of different ones. I'll go with this one for a change, I think. Right then, so, presumably, these two. That's nice and easy. And once they're drying, I'll I'll, uh, I'll glue his head on. little bit of brim left which I didn't get first time so I'll take that off first. It's only a very small amount but I'd rather not have it on that. <laughs> it looks absolutely wicked. I really like this. This is cool. Let's leave that to dry for a bit and then I'll come back in a little while and glue the rest on. See you in a bit. Right then, now let's see if we can glue the rest of them together. Oh no, that's gone wrong. 
be slipping about all over the place. So. Legs lined up properly. Uh, yeah, I think that's about right. So you can see it. And then again, I'll leave that to dry and then we'll glue his hands on a bit later. Oh, I think his legs are moved. Let's try again. Lined up as well. Yeah. Right, back in a bit. I think he's uh, dried pretty well. For the most part, it's certainly together at the moment anyway, so I'm going to glue his hands on now. Oh, just leave him there for a second. I've noticed there's a bit of extra brim on the hands I need to take off. Right, okay. Using some super glue rather than the other stuff for his hands because they're going to be hanging down more so as to it's drying, so this stuff will probably stick a bit quicker than the other one. The other stuff dries clear though, I don't get any white marks or anything, which is nice. Let's see if we can get his hands lined up pretty well. He is pretty cool. Every nose bender is great, eh? Let's just do some other one. And that's him all finished. That's absolutely awesome. I really like that. Leave him in the full 24 hours to dry and then he's finished. And I'm going to paint his eyeballs and his teeth and that. So uh, I'll show you that when it, I'll show you it painting and I'll also show you when it's finished. See you in a bit.
can see we had a slight accident whilst painting his legs fell off. So we're going to glue those back on now. I'm going to use some super glue this time rather than the other stuff. I think this is better. Spread it out a bit more. Leave him stood up over there and leave him to dry. Right, back in a bit. Well guys, there he is, the finished article. <laughs> I hope you like him, I think he's pretty wicked. I'm really pleased with uh, with everything about him, really. He turned out really well, printed fairly nicely. A couple of issues with Z seam and a few bits and pieces, but you know, if, if you're doing a proper job, you'd probably want to sand him and paint him anyway, but to be honest, I'm quite happy with the way he looks now. Um, thanks for watching. If you like my video, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe and don't forget to tick the bell icon so that you can get notified when I get new videos out. Cheers, guys. Have a good one. Bite my shiny metal ass.